Today we're going to be looking at 10 essential lead guitar techniques that are vital for all guitar players, especially if you're looking to start improvising. Let's get right into it. So the first technique is a hammer-on plus a target note and it sounds like this. So the target note is exactly what it sounds like. It's the note that we're targeting to end the phrase on. In this case, it's the fifth fret on the G. What we're doing is we're hammering five to seven on the D, going to the fifth fret on the G. Moving on to our second guitar technique, it's gonna be a double hammer on with the target note. So we're gonna keep the same target note, that fifth fret on the G, which is the minor third of the pentatonic scale. And we're gonna hammer on five, seven on the A. That's gonna be our double. So we have five, seven on the A, five, seven on the D, to five on the G, going to the same target note. Moving on to our third guitar technique, we have the pull off plus the target note. So this time we're gonna change our target note and we're gonna pick the seventh fret on the D, which is an A, going back to our root. So we're gonna start with a pull off, seven, five on the G, finishing on the seventh fret of the D. Let's move on to our fourth technique. It's gonna be the double pull off plus the target note. So it sounds like this. Now we're keeping the same target note, seventh fret on the D, that's our A, our root. And we're doing eight, five on the B, pull off. Seven, five on the G, to the root. This is all inside of the A minor pentatonic scale, of course. So let's move on to our fifth guitar technique. It's gonna be the bend plus a target note. So our target note is gonna be the fifth fret on the B string. And we're gonna bend a whole step, seventh fret on the G. Now ideally, when you bend that seventh fret a whole step, it should be the same pitch as the fifth fret on the B. So that's great practice just to make sure your bends are in tune. That's something you always wanna do, as boring and repetitive as it can be. It's really important when you bend on the guitar to make sure that you do it in tune because other guitar players can really hear when you're not really in tune on your bends. You'll have sort of this experience where you say, man, this doesn't really sound very good. That's usually why you're under bending or over bending. So keep your ear out for that. So let's move on to our sixth guitar technique. It's gonna be a bend with a finger roll. So I'm bending the seventh fret on the G up a whole step, and then rolling my finger across the first two strings on the fifth fret. This is something you've heard all throughout blues and rock music, and it's a great one to have in your toolkit. Moving on to our seventh guitar technique, it's gonna be a hammer-on with a single trill. So, it sounds like this. And it sort of reminds me of Layla, right? Something like that. Now we have five eight on the B, hammer-on, and a hammer on and pull off, 5-8-5 five, five on the high E. So again, we're targeting the root, 5th fret on the high E, or A. And this is a great jumping off point to sort of add more to your lick. It's a good way to start a phrase, and it's something that's nice to fall back on. Moving on to our 8th guitar technique, this is going to be a pull off with a backward finger roll. Sounds like this. What I'm doing is eight, five on the B, pull off, seven on the G, and then a fifth fret little roll on the B and the G. Moving on to our ninth technique, it's gonna be a hammer on plus a bend. Sounds like this. We're hammering on from the fifth to the seventh on the G and then going right into our whole step bend. This is another great way to start a phrase and you can combine this with some of the other techniques we talked about earlier. Moving on to our last lead guitar technique, it's gonna be a bend and release pull off. So it sounds like this. Similar to what we did in the last one, sort of in reverse, right? So we're gonna start with a whole step bend and release seventh fret of the G pull off to the fifth fret, ending on the root, 
which is the seventh fret of the D. That's our last and final lead guitar technique that I think is essential to have in your toolkit. All of these techniques will be really helpful when you're starting to solo, improvise with others, play over backing tracks, or writing your own melodic lines. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.